Welcome back to Palette Expanders. We're here to taste some new meads. Let's get started. Okay, so okay. here we are, back again. Episode mm -hmm. one, um, I think we both had fun. I definitely had a lot was of a good fun. Time. Not only tasting it, but the editing was a lot of fun yeah, too. I so, bet. I <laughs> so bet. We're, we're here to do this again, and um, we have two brand new meads. Of course, the idea is that BC has brought something, and I have my own. We have not communicated at all what we've brought, and the goal is to hopefully identify yeah. roughly what we've brought. All you ask me is, is it going to be chilled? Yes. And, and I said yes, because it's from my garage. <laughs> so. Here so, we are. So let's go ahead and um, first of all, I'll, I'll throw up mine. This is what I, I've brought today. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting. Of course, you know, it's he can't see it, I, which is nice. And then BC's has no label at all or anything. So he didn't have to worry about wrapping it up. But yeah. BC's is, is right there. You can see. This is um, what we, I think it is. Yeah, <laughs> this is, yeah he, t he did talk about how um, he's about 95% sure. Uh, but I had no doubt that you're going to. Figure out what it is. I, when I will you taste know it, it as soon as I taste it. it. It's from the general area where I was storing these. That, that's good enough. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, pour some some pour some pours. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've uh, gone ahead and, and poured each one, and I'll mm -hmm. show you kind of what they look like close up. And um, let's go and talk about first of all the difference in colors. Mm -hmm. Vastly different colors. Yours is very beer. Like esque, yeah. I'm getting like stouty vibes yeah. from this for sure. Can't even see through it. Yeah, even I was gonna say there's no light. And yours has got a nice minus like, uh, mead <laughs> color. Yeah. Hey, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, let's go with mine first this time. I so just, I snuck, I snuck a sniff. Yeah, what huh. you got? Have you ever had White Dog whiskey? It's unaged. I haven't. So it's unaged whiskey before it goes in the barrel. Hmm. Interesting. That's what this smells like. It's got really? that like, yeah, I, all my friends hate white dog. And like in my younger days, that's what I would like. We'd all go uh -huh. to the store to purchase our things for the weekend. Uh -huh. And white dog is what I would get. And they would always mock me because they said it, it smells and tastes like bread, like, like, Hmm. Iron Kids bread, like white bread. <laughs> interesting. Okay. And this has got those strong, bready. That's that's interesting. I feel like I need to try that now. Oh, it's so good. As a whiskey guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. And so it's got those big, bready, corny, like whiskey mash kind of mm -hmm. aromatics. That's. It's not something that I typically get in a mead. So I'm kind of hyped for it. <laughs> That's, none of no. that was a negative. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't normally get that in a mead. <laughs> uh, no, none of that's a negative. It's, it's just, just I. This is like this taking me. No, back it's to, great. I like taking it. me back to my college days. Okay. Okay. So are we are we picking we're gonna, up the nose on both? Yeah, we're gonna nose first, okay. and then we'll come okay. back and taste test. What them. what what are you picking up here? Um, I don't quite get the same. Okay. Breadiness. Um, and I want to clarify, it's not like a yeastiness. It's, right. Right. It's not that like young mead off. Yeah. Aromatic. It it's it's white dog. I follow you. Okay. I definitely get a very uh, bright citrusy note from this. That is like the main thing here. I'm not getting a mm. lot of like I'm getting a little Let bit me. of sweetness. But and I um, I, do, I definitely get some of that booziness too. Now that like it kind of snuck in the back of my throat. Yeah. There. There's there's like a zestiness, but it's delicate. Okay. I'm not picking up like big orange peel notes or anything like that. As it breathes, it's it's starting to get more of that kind of traditional mead okay. aromatic. Yeah. No, I, I can definitely see what you're saying. I need to try that, that whiskey now so I can understand more so. Solid. So Okay, okay. well, okay. so that's mine. Okay. Now let's try yours. Oh, definitely got some beery um, mm -hmm. vibes. Caramely. It's not like actual caramel, though. My brain is thinking caramel, but it's not. It's got a little bit of that like Cracker Jack kind of smell. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of like a... Baking spice, like a cinnamon, mm. slight cinnamon hint from this. But it definitely, it has like a little, my brain really wants to think this is a beer. Yeah. And I, like I, so much so that like I'm, I'm telling myself in a way that there are hops in this thing. And I don't know if that's true or not. I'm really trying <laughs> to, I'm really trying to, to not just guess that and yeah. actually get it. So yeah, it's, it's got a, a big, Stouty, malty character riding on that 
on that CO2 that's that kind of haze in the glass. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't really want to talk more about what I no. pick up on the nose. Because yeah, I was I gonna say I don't no. want to spoil it for you. It does have a. Gosh, what is that smell? It's like <laughs> almost like a, um, a. I'm thinking basil leaf, but it's not like basil. Leaf. It, it's not that family. It's the. It's the same. It's a, this is. <laughs> This is what my is margarita that? pizza <laughs> flavored mead. No, it's not. You pizza. missed that. It's on the channel. I don't know the. I don't know what leaf I'm talking about, but it's got some sort of herb, like sage. Maybe it's like, like got a, a herbiness to like it, like a pork sausage kind of herbalness, like a breakfast sausage. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I can pick that up. Yeah, I, I'm getting. It doesn't have a lot of perceived sweetness. It has this herbiness that I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that's that is Me too. translating to. <laughs> It's just very earthy, very yeah, like. Yeah, it's rich. So, first. I think we should start with yours. Okay. Because I, I think this may overwhelm the palate. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, mine doesn't. So, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and try mine and okay. uh, let's see. Oh, that's a, that's a little bit of a journey. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. It's tart. Uh-huh. It's lemony, got a little bit of a spice to it, but not like a, hmm. It's not like a hot pepper spice. I'm mean, like, you know, when you know what it is, you're sitting here thinking like, I'm, I'm trying to find all those notes in it. And I'm also trying not to spoil. Yeah, this is quite good. Um, it is so unlike any mead that I've had. Really? Yeah. In, in what way? I'm curious. Um, it's got a little bit of like a lemon balm, almost eucalyptus-y. It's very cooling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get that. There's, it's also herbal. It's herb, not, you know, this one you smell the herbalness yeah. kind of in there. This one, it's, there's nothing like that on the nose, but it's all on the palate huh. of like a lemony, almost gingery, very acidic, mm -hmm. but not, not unbalanced acidic. I could get that. I can see what you're saying. Like it's refreshing. I do like the body on this one. I think it needs a little more push of it, like a tannin. It, it does mm -hmm. kind of fade away pretty quick, but the initial side to me has a decent body. Yeah, I'm. I'll, I'll be curious to know what what tannic elements went in here because a lot of times I sense tannin on the sides of my tongue, uh -huh. and it kind of like goes up the sides of your mouth. This is all right straight down the middle of my tongue. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking I get it up that. on the sides. Yeah. Well, I think that's to uh, to speak into that. I feel like that is the type of tannin that you are achieving, and I feel like if you use real wine tannin, you're, mm -hmm. you can probably speak better this to this than me. If you use real wine tannin, mm -hmm. I feel like that gives a different body than if you were to say throw in raisins, you know, into your yeah. mead. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're they're. I've actually, for another video project I'm working on, I've been researching tannin mm -hmm. and like how what those plant sources of tannins. Uh, actually like how how they develop how the plants use them what they're made out of and it is really interesting how they're all kind of made out of the same stuff mm -hmm. but they present in such different, different ways, ways depending on the source mm -hmm. and this this yeah this doesn't this doesn't grab you back here it grabs you down the middle of the tongue which is interesting I yeah it, you don't experience that often there's not a lot of sweetness to this one and um, I, I don't want to say that was unpurposeful um, so, hmm. I, I, I have a really weak guess at what this is. Oh, well, and, that's uh, all right. I'm curious. I'm curious <laughs> now. It's, I, I will tell you what it tastes like. The flavor, like now that I'm thinking it through, it tastes like a lemon Jolly Rancher. Hmm. It's got okay, like, because yeah. a lemon Jolly Rancher, yeah. the, the acid is much stronger than the sugar uh -huh. in it. And so you're constantly like pulling that lemon flavor forward yeah. and not getting a lot of the sweetness. And that's that's what this reminds me of. Okay, I could see that, definitely. Like if you told me that you just made a lemon Jolly Rancher mead. <laughs> I mean, you've, you've got stacks of candy canes I over mean, here. It's... I believe it. <laughs> you, you caught me. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll save my guess. Okay, well, let's switch to yours. Let's see. It's very different. Um, I'm not picking up any like definable honey presence. Yeah. I'm not finding anything that's that's warming or um, uh, bright in some way. A lot of times you get like a floral clover will present itself. I feel like in that, those bright floral notes, and then you get mesquites that have the smokiness, and mm -hmm. you know, on and on and on. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any of that defining 
characteristic, and that that could be attributing to a, you know the yeast fermenting out all of those yeah honey characters. It's very um like stouty kind of beer esque mm -hmm. to me. It's got an interesting. <laughs> the taste of it is a little is a little weird to me. It doesn't. It kind of tastes like a just a regular like. Like if you mixed a, what's what I'm trying to think of? I'm trying to put the words to it. Uh-huh. Uh, what is it? It's like a weird mix between a wheat ale and like a like a stoutiness. You got this dark notes richness that's presented there. Yeah. But I still do get that like weird herbally spiciness. It um, it doesn't, I'll be honest, it does not amazing. This one is not, um, yeah. that's no, not a thing against you. It, no, it just I told doesn't, you beforehand, if you hate it, you hate it. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't have any like real poking characteristics yeah. that I can grab onto, to be honest. Yeah. Like, and I, that's where I'm struggling. And I, as I want to present and say that I'm getting these things, but they're all general flavors. Yeah. It's kind of throwing a dart and hoping I'm hitting one. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, now let's get to the guessing point. Yeah, let's, let's guess. So I'm, I guess since we're fresh off this one, I'll go ahead and, and guess. Okay. I think this is some sort of uh, beer and like I said wheat stouty like a like a brown ale yeah like a yeah something like that that would that would be in the middle um it doesn't have any to me any other great flavors it has to me the ale ale yeast character mm -hmm. in that there's no like retention of of prominent character I feel like wine yeast do a Decent job, at least, mm -hmm. of of purposefully retaining characters. Obviously, I haven't done one in if this is a beer in a beer, but I'm not getting any um, yeah defining characteristic in that regard. Some sort of beer. I don't know what other ingredients are added because again, this there's not like something that's poking out and saying, "Hey, I'm you know, whatever clove or something like that." Yeah, it is really interesting. I have not opened a bottle of this in a while. Yeah, it is really interesting how. A lot of brews, I, I told you, I think this one is like a year and a half, two years old at this point. A lot of brews will go through like a peak yeah, and then a drop off. Uh huh. And I think we have hit the drop off. We, we are enjoying this at the bottom of the drop off. <laughs> yeah. I really, here's the problem with it. The only problem <laughs> I have with it is it doesn't have any, there's no um, big wow factor for me. For the color on it, there is not enough body yeah. to support it has how black that is right and it has to me <laughs> a very beer-esque yeah like body there's not much tannic value to it in general and um it's got a little bit of a sourness mm -hmm. not not bad sour but puckering sour i yeah. feel like i feel like there's plenty of tannin in there but it's like that um i don't say burnt tannic mm. flavor but there's like a almost like a char or a charcoal kind of chalkiness to the tannic yeah i could get that quality on it it's not it's not like an astringency it's like a <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um okay that's my guess i honestly it's very vague this time i don't think i'm that accurate you're somewhere in the i'm gonna go ahead and just guess brown ale territory you know wheat ale okay uh, i'm not getting a definable honey so if there is honey in this thing it's got to be some wildflower variant or something like that but i don't oh, think really? there is I mean, this is, this, I could be very wrong, but <laughs> I'm not getting a lot of definable honey character okay. to me. That's my guess. That's all I got. So you think this is not a meat at all? I don't, I don't think it is. Okay. And you think it's just, just, I brought you a crappy beer. No, no. I, I, I went to the liquor store. I <laughs> stripped the label. I don't think you brought a crappy beer. I just don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to believe that this is a meat of some sort, but uh, I don't get the honey character. So I'm I'm not going to start pulling characters out of the out okay, of my. No, that's, say, no, that's absolutely fair. <laughs> All right, if I had to guess on yours, which it's so hard to guess, mm -hmm. I would guess that it's some kind of lemon. See, I said ginger, but now I'm not really picking up ginger. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like a a low bodied lemon ginger mm -hmm. something in the seven percent alcohol range okay that's, that's what great. i got that's great okay so let's go ahead and do the reveal let's start with yours since i feel like i gotta get the shame out of the way it's a braggot okay made with meadow foam honey i'm not getting the meadow foam <laughs> <laughs> i just used meadow foam and i i'm not getting that 
this was, I think potentially the fatal flaw in this one was that I only used, I think it was four and a half pounds of honey. Is this, I think I know only because we've talked about it briefly. I've never tried it. But now that you're saying that, mm -hmm. is this the Lucky Charms? This is the Lucky Charms <laughs> bracket. I've never had it. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like I still got a couple bottles kicking around. Yeah, it has, it just still has this. So, I mean, it does have like a fake ish sugar y smell that Meadow mm -hmm. Foam can be translated as. We're also, I guess, Lucky Charms. Yeah, so this had a whole box of Lucky Charms marshmallows. It was a repurposed stout kit. We did it as a milk stout. So I at least got somewhere in that regard. You got in that range. Um, hmm. And then the Meadow Foam honey went in raw. Yeah. And so I think what happened to the body on this is that honey dries out a beer. Uh huh. And so adding that much honey was not enough honey to give it that metal foam flavor, but at the same time, it was enough honey to thin out the body on it mm -hmm. that it doesn't, it doesn't stick to you like a stout should. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is a shame. That's a shame that the metal foam cost so much money. Cost so much. I mean, it <laughs> truly like, I don't know if it was just the fermentation. I'm just not getting a lot of that character. Although um, my problem is I just made a Meadow Foam traditional, which had mm -hmm. no other competing flavors. So yeah. my head thinking of Meadow Foam, I think of this it, at its hundred percent. Yeah. And, and that, that four and a half pounds of Meadow Foam honey that I put in here was more expensive than all the other ingredients combined. Yeah. And basically none of it stuck. Yeah. I don't, I don't really get much Lucky Charms idea. And you would think that stacked on with the meadow foam sugars being in that those being cotton candy like or yeah you know uh with lactose in there something yeah. that should really give it some richness and, and i didn't quite things. pick up those notes but no this was a straight up fail and now <laughs> now what i will say is that there was a brief period i think it was around the middle of the summer late summer where this was excellent uh -huh. and i i even messaged the guy who had the idea of using meadow foam mm -hmm. it was like Dude, it, it worked out. It turned out. Mm -hmm. And I still have like six bottles back to send him. And now I'm like, well. <laughs> you can still we, do we, it. We missed the peak, missed man. The... Okay. So, I don't know. It's it's a fail, but it's a braggart. Mm -hmm. So, mine, if I can get this label off, is a lemon mead. Now, it has a couple things. It has some black tea, uh, which is your tannin mm -hmm, you're talking about. Mm -hmm. It did use some raisins. This was a Game of Thrones mead recipe okay. that I made. Black tea, raisins, lemon juice, orange blossom, honey. So it's got a lot of those. The lemon is strong. I here. used, so if I remember correctly, uh, I also zested some lemons in the primary and put it in. I mean, I just did basically whole lemon peels. Okay. So I didn't, zest is a light term. I just <laughs> threw, I threw just in. Aggressively. I mean, like I basically put big old chunks of lemon uh, peel okay. in there. So, yeah. Yeah, this, this is... This nails the lemon. Like, this is a well-executed lemon meat. Uh-huh. I, I definitely like the tea. Whenever I was trying this, you talked about how you're getting an herbal side. I think mm -hmm. you said herbal side as well. Or some sort of, like, um, I can't remember what terminology he used. It's like, time. I mean, it tastes like lemon balm. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, it had, like, an herbal, but not, like, a like a punch-in-the-face herbal. Mm -hmm. It was, like, complementary mm -hmm. to the, the lemon flavor. Yeah. So I, I thought this one turned out great. And um, is this one that you made on your channel? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's I will still, be playing. I haven't deleted it yet. <laughs> I, well, well, I'll put the <laughs> link down and then if you delete it, it's gone. But yeah. uh, if you want to see that meat, that braggot rather he made, um, that'll be down in the description. It's technically a mead. Yeah, it's, it's a mead. I mean, it's it's just that hybrid. And then this <laughs> one is going to be down in the description as well. But I mean, I, I'm i pleased with this. I. I now that I know what yours is, if I really, mm -hmm. it's one of those things that you do have to search for certain characteristics. Yeah. And that's that's the best part of, about this series to me is that we're being very real with our tasting. You yeah, know what I mean? Absolutely. It, and if I brought this bottle to you on, you know, and you saw everything, then you would start thinking about what flavors yeah. you should get. So, yeah. yeah. And, and I, I wanted to bring this one because I knew it was probably not going to be great. I admitted that before we started. <laughs> and I think it's it's important to acknowledge our failures from time to time. Yeah. As a way of, of personal growth. And um, I I appreciate that you were at least able to identify that it was beer adjacent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would, yeah. I would hope that, I mean, I don't know. I've never seen a mead. I mean, that's not true. I've had some meads, dark meads. Yeah. So that's... But I definitely got the maltiness, definitely yeah. got those things. Yeah. The meadow foam, if you use a really high quality honey, first of all, go for it, use it. But then also know, 
if you're putting it in a beer, there's risks in that regard sometimes. Yeah. Even if you're putting it in a mead, there are risks. So um, just investigate the best way to use it. Yep. So yep. this has been episode number two. This has been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm excited now, you know, I got the gears turning uh -huh. for what I'm going to grab for next episode. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. And again, we said this last time, if you have any recommendations that you want us to bring, make sure you personally direct message us. Yeah. Don't put it down below. <laughs> um, so that you can say, hey, take that one and, and see what he thinks. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. I was telling him before I came over, I've got hundreds of bottles I need to organize. So this would be <laughs> right. <gonna> <laughs> this would be a great time for recommendations on how to get some of those out of the house. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, well, BC, this has been fun. Thanks for having me. Let's do it again soon. All right, thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.